Hi, hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about dental product. So what are the saline features in the dental product? We will see one by one. So first we should know the definition for dentifices. So what is mean by dentifices? A dentifices is a substance used with your toothbrush for the purpose of cleaning the accessible surface of the teeth. Commercial dentifices are available in the form of paste and powder. You know, in the ancient time, elders, they used to clean the teeth or tooth with the help of powder. So now, nowadays we are using in the form of paste. Toothpaste or tooth powder is the formulation of two kind of formulation from the dental product. So dentifices is nothing but so we are going to clean the tooth or teeth with the help of brush is known as dentifices. Next one what is mean by abrasive? Abrasive these preparations are used by the dentist in cleaning and polishing teeth that means so it is used by the dentist so we are not recommended by the by using with the self medication so they are not suitable for patient self medication because they may be entirely too harsh for continued or supervised used so what is the difference between dentifices and abrasive means dentifices both are used for cleaning but it is not recommended with the self medication abrasive but dentifices is used to by ourselves with the help of toothbrush or by finger there are two formulations are there paste and powder so we can clean our teeth or tooth with the help of brush or powder so what are dental caries next one so it's a medical term for caries or tooth decay it's nothing but tooth decay it's nothing but germs so germs produced by suppose if you are eating or drinking something coffee or tea or any juice or by eating food after that we should goggle up with the help of water we should goggle it suppose if we are having goggle means the food particles to be deposited in between the teeth or tooth so tooth is a singular form and teeth is plural form so we may use tooth here so tooth decay so which will produce a bad odor while we opening our mouth so these are known as dental caries there are the some bacteria which will secrete the acid okay that it will form a sticky layer on the surface of the teeth so that is known as dental caries or tooth decay the next one what is mean by desensitizer desensitizer the name itself it's giving you it will sensitize sensitize from the teeth it uh, will remove the sensitization or which will reduce or which will decrease the hypersensitivity of the teeth when applied to the outer surface especially where erosion has occurred near the gum line inorganic compounds of deed sensitizers are example strontium chloride and zinc chloride so as we already discussing why we should do read about dental product means so some of the inorganic that means pharmaceutical inorganic substance have medicinal value so that may be 
used for medicinal purpose so here what is a pharmaceutical inorganic substance to be used to, as a desensitizer for example strontium chloride and zinc chloride is the example for desensitizer here desensitizer decreases the hypersensitivity of the teeth as we know well we are drinking uh, any hot water or hot uh, coffee or uh, hot tea so we will have feel like pain on the teeth itself that increases that means increasing the sensi sensitization of our teeth so here the desensitizer used to decrease the hypersensitivity of the teeth next we'll see about what are all the vitamins necessary for tooth formation not only for tooth formation and for bone formation also these vitamin like vitamin a c and d is necessary for both tooth and teeth bone formations here next we are going to discuss about role of fluoride so what is the role of fluoride here which will plays a major role in from anti dental pro uh, sorry dental product so what are all the role of fluoride here what is the mechanism of uh, action of fluoride fluoride removes the anti caries as it replaces the hydroxyl ion in hydroxy apatite with the fluoride ion to form fluoroapatite here fluoride removes the anti caries uh, we already discussed anti caries is nothing but tooth decay or cavities so which will remove the anti caries or which will kill the gems how it to kill the gems that means while we are applying fluoride on our teeth it replaces the hydroxyl ion in hydroxy apatite with the fluoride ion to form fluoride that means conversion of hydroxy apatite to fluoroapatite that is a mechanism of action of role of fluoride here then fluoride in low concentration that means 1 to 2 parts per million is present in drinking water here we should know about what is mean by ppm ppm is nothing but parts per million here fluoride in low concentration 1 to 2 parts per million is present in drinking water 1 mg in kg is nothing but 1 ppm usually we need 1 or 2 ppm next what some inorganic phosphate like sodium monohydrogen phosphate sodium dihydrogen phosphate also useful in the prevention of dental caries as like fluoride fluoride in the form of sodium fluoride what is the inorganic substance here fluoride what is the inorganic uh, in the form of fluoride to be used for dental product like sodium fluoride and stannous fluoride to be used for the dental product okay next oral antiseptic and astringent oral antiseptic and astringent can be safely used as antiseptic in the oral cavity for example antiseptics you know everyone what is the use of antiseptic and astringent is nothing but it's often the tissue like uh, astringent which will um, cure the teeth if it has any um, microorganism or it is free from germs it will cure for example oral antiseptic and astringent for example here hydrogen peroxide or sodium perforate and magnesium perforate to be used as a oral antiseptic and astringent then what are mouthwashes so they are medicated liquids mainly antiseptic so if it has any germs 
present in our mouth so by using mouth wash or by with the help of mouth wash by gargling our mouth so that it will be free from germs so that is the use of mouth wash or mouth there are the two formulations available like mouth wash mouth water or mouth wash water or rinses oral rinses or sprays like oral rinses or sprays so what are mouth washes here they are medicated liquid especially it has antiseptic used for clean the mouth or treating affected mucous membrane oxygenated preparations example hydrogen peroxide and other peroxide etc because of their effervescence or effective debriding agents when used as oral rinses or sprays next alveolar analgesic they are employed by the dentist for the sympathomimetic relief relief of pain arising from the post extraction alveolus commonly called dry socket example local anesthetic like benzocaine and clove oil so if instead of clove oil it means clove powder also we can able to place on the where pain to be produced in your teeth it's a home remedy so we may use instead of clove oil but clove oil to be available from the market and benzocaine you know what is the use of benzocaine it's a analgesic that means it relieves the pain <coughs> then cavity liner that is otherwise known as varnishes so these are used to seal the dental tubule in deep seated cavities so as to protect the bulb from acid containing dental cement that means these are the liner cavity liner or varnisher especially used to seal the dental tubule in deep seated cavity so as to protect the bulb from acid containing dental cement so here these are the just view about overall view about so what are all the layers we have in our teeth like first one first layer known as enamel and second one known as dentin and third one has cementum that we can't able to see it to be buried into the depth and first layer enamel if we erode the enamel thereby we will have the sensitization feel so that can be cured by using desensitizer next layer dentin so it is to be covered with the enamel so these are the overall view about teeth next will go the introduction part dental hygiene has been considered as before going to that just we can we can recall the points about what are all the point to be saline futures to be in we have in from the dental product so we know dentifrices is nothing but cleaning our teeth or tooth with the help of brush then abrasive also used for cleaning and polishing purpose but here it's not recommended for by ourselves so it is cured by dentist only and dental dental care is you know it's not it's nothing but medical term for caries or tooth decay fourth one desensitizer which will decrease the hypersensitivity which will decrease the hypersensitivity of the teeth that is the main important point so especially applied to the outer surface so that uh, nowadays we have sensodyne so this type of uh, some of the paste has desensitizer so that we can uh, feel free from sensitization especially where erosion has 
occurred near the gum line then what are all the vitamins required for the tooth formation and role of fluoride here what is the mechanism of action of role of fluoride here hydroxyl hydroxy apatite converting into fluoro apatite with the help of fluoride so here what are all the fluoride inorganic substance sodium fluoride or stannous fluoride to be used as a pharmaceutical inorganic substance next one how much, uh, how much ppm we need how many ppm to be present in drinking water one or two ppm then what are the inorganic phosphate even inorganic phosphate also used as a prevention of dental caries like sodium dihydrogen phosphate and sodium monohydrogen nothing but nothing difference in that here sodium monohydrogen here sodium dihydrogen here one molecule of hydrogen here two molecule of hydrogen sodium monohydrogen and sodium dihydrogen phosphate can be useful for the prevention of dental caries next like oral antiseptic and astringent to be used to mainly used as a cleaning the mouth like example hydrogen peroxide or sodium perforate and magnesium perforate mouth washes there are the two types of formulation like uh, oral rinses and sprays it is also used to it's a medicated liquid that means medicated liquid is nothing but that inorganic substance to be definitely present in that so, which will kill the microorganism if it is present in our mouth or in between the teeth so which will remove by after gargling with the mouthwash or mouth spray or by spray itself or by oral rinses then alveolar analgesic you know after it is nothing but sympathomimetic dentist for the it is they are employed by the dentist for the sympathomimetic relief of pain arising from forced extraction alveolus commonly called dry sockets example local anesthetic you know what is the use of anesthetic like here two types of inorganic substance to be used as a anesthetic like benzocaine cloud oil and cavity liner or varnishes is nothing but to seal the dental to blade next we will see about introduction so introduction part of about dental product dental hygiene has been considered as important since long in india poor dental health is a major problem and has been compounded by ignorance of poor literacy levels habits like chewing of tobacco pan and pan masalas so in order to maintain dental hygiene we have to take care of our teeth so the teeth are necessary of digestive system people use the teeth to bite and chew food so so there are the two function with the help of teeth or tooth we have it's used to bite or chew food so the long sharp canine teeth tear a food while the white white flat molar grains mash up the food it has a first step in the digestion of food while chewing food the tongue pushes it into teeth and saliva helps in digestion and wets the food so here as i already discussed with you there are the three layers what are they first dentine it is to be buried into the entire portion of the teeth and cementum the layer covering the portion of the tooth lie, lying buried in the gum 
सो फस्ट वन एनाम एंड सेकेंड वन डेंटन एंड थर्ड वन सीमेंट सो दंड वाट इज द विटम रिक्वयर्ड ए सी डी देर आर द्री नेसरी विटम रिक्वयर्ड फॉर द डेटल अंड आलो बोन फार्मेशन सो हियर नेक्स्ट विल गो टू आंटी कैरी एजेंट सो डेटल कैरी इज अ मेडिकल टर्म फॉर टूथ डी के आर कैविटी सो इट्स अदर वेज काल डेटल कैरी सो वॉट इज इन फॉर डेटल कैरी फॉर टू क्यूर डेटल कैरी द एजेंट दट मीन्स इनआर्गानिक सब्सटेंस टू बी यूज टू क्यूर द डेटल कैरी इज नो नी नथिंग बट anti caries agent that mean in order to cure the dental caries what is a inorganic substance pharmaceutical inorganic substance to be used to cure dental caries nothing but anti caries agent that quite opposite to dental caries it is caused by specific type of bacteria how dental caries are formed here we'll discuss about it is caused by specific type of bacteria they produce acid that destroy the tooth enamel first layer we already told you first layer mainly covered with the enamel so here the acid it is caused by the dental caries mainly caused by the bacteria they produce acid that destroy the tooth enamel and the layer under it the known as dentin so a first layer become enamel then second one become dentin so dental caries mainly which will damage the enamel layer with the help of bacteria many different types of bacteria normally live in the human mouth they build up on the teeth so they build up on the teeth in a sticky film called plaque this plaque also contains saliva bits of food and other natural substance plaque forms most easily in certain parts so these include cracks bits or grooves in the back teeth or in between teeth and near the gum line so that means you may observe that this dental caries what what are all the problem will will face cracks bits or grooves in the back teeth or in between teeth or near the gum line so these are mainly caused by the dental caries so this can be overcome this problem or this problem solves by using anti caries agent some of the plaque bacteria turn sugar and carbohydrate starches of the food into the acid like you know uh, so we are eating in the form of carbohydrate and sugar that means all the food mainly composed of carbon nitrogen and oxygen that means carbohydrate so it is converted into sugar and uh, thereafter with the help of bacteria it turns into acid this acid dissolves minerals in the hard enamel that covers the tooth Crowbar. So the entire portion of the tooth might be covered with the acid. Okay. Next, the enamel erodes or develop split. They they are too small to set set at first, but they get large over time. So acid can also seep through pores in the enamel. this is how dk begins in the soft dentin layer the main body of the tooth so as the dentin 
breaks down that means second layer the enamel over it can collapse and forming a cavity so a mucin rich saliva has less cleansing action on tooth and therefore helps to the development of caries poor nutrition of sometime so the dental care caries can be occurred by poor nutrition of the infant and the other at the time of infancy and the childhood results in poor architecture of teeth which become susceptible to the development of caries in the early stage so as we may notice that in in uh, childhood life they have in sufficient or proper food they have in taken proper food or by poor nutrition of the infant thereby resulting in the poor architecture of teeth that means organizing of the teeth might be failure in case okay so dental caries can be prevented and oral and dental hygiene can be maintained with the help of dentifrices dentifrices are the products that enhance the removal of stain and dental plaque by the toothpaste the most accepted approach to prevent caries including flossing and brushing accompanied by administration of fluoride and brushing accompanied by administration of fluoride either internally or topically the teeth so here the dentifrices in the beginning beginning itself i am discussing about dentifrices is nothing but cleaning purpose or uh, cleaning of our teeth with the help of toothbrush there are two types of formulation either tooth powder or toothpaste so the most accepted approach to prevent dental caries including flossing and brushing accompanied by administration of so whenever you may uh, notice or observe that all those uh, tooth powder or toothpaste especially must contain fluoride that means administration of fluoride and brushing accompanied by administration of fluoride either internally or topically the teeth newer devices also has been have been developed to detect tooth decay they are useful in some situation and they do not spread decay so the one most commonly used dental caries is a liquid dye or stain even like in case of dye or stain also to be placed on the teeth or tooth to remove the dental caries so the dentist brushes the non toxic dye over your teeth they rinse it off with water it rinses always cleanly from healthy areas but sticks to the decayed areas so it will rinses always cleanly from the healthy area but when where we have caries on the teeth there these non toxic dyes will stick on the decayed areas of our teeth or tooth so that we can remove the dental caries with the help of like non toxic dye or stain some dentists also use high tech device such as laser to detect cavities under many conditions these devices can detect very easily or very early tooth decay which actually can be reverse so the next the role of fluoride we'll see in the next class